What's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham. Shout out to Lucario. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody on that Bad Boy membership. Checking out the Game Kings documentary. Um, it is required viewing for all men. You know what I'm saying? Uh, appreciate all you guys for everything that you do. All the likes, comments, everybody that subscribes. Really appreciate you guys. Everybody, everybody that's on the Bad Boy membership. Everybody that's on the Bad Boy show. Everybody that's on the Confidence show. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. So what I want to talk about today real quick is I want to I want to talk about the fact that the game the game can be entertaining but it's not entertainment. Okay? We got to understand that the game is real life. The game is real life. Everything that you hear from us we're talking about real life. These are things that we experience, these are things that we talk about it is because we know what it feels like to be in a certain position in life when it comes to certain things such as dealing with women and relationships and stuff like that and we want to we want to tell the truth that we've learned you understand what I'm saying um, it's crazy how a person can you know listen to a scientist a scientist may have discovered how electricity works right and everybody's gonna go to um, it you know electric trade school and learn about electricity based on what somebody else discovered and they'll they'll study that shit like it's you know like it's gospel right but if if we get on online and we talk about how to deal with females and how to run shit and how to run your game how to do certain shit people don't take it seriously right people think you know we're just on here talking shit because oh you can do you can deal with relationships however you want and then it'll work out for you perfectly and we're here to tell you that that's not the case that's not the case and <laughs> honestly this is another reason why you need to watch the uh the game kings documentary because boss mac top soil he goes through a segment where he's talking about game and he's explaining that you know and, and i don't want to give too much but he's explaining that there's certain set rules about life and about male female interaction that don't change no matter what you do you understand and these are the type of things we try to talk about when it comes to game, when it comes to relationship, when it comes to how how to see yourself, how to look at yourself, how to carry yourself. And I'm not saying that everything we say is perfect for the next man. You understand? But there are certain basic things, certain basic rules about this game that need to be taken seriously. You understand? And like I said, the way we explain it, the, our different styles, um, the way we come across, the way we, you know, we you know we, I, I like i wear shades and whatever whatever and some people might watch our our um our interviews and our podcasts and our live streams and it might it might be entertaining listening to it can be entertaining and i get that that's cool but understand that it is not entertainment we don't do this to entertain we do this to educate we do this to uncover the truth about certain things to put you guys on to certain things Certain things that you may not understand right now, we're telling you about it right now so you can get it, so you can understand it, so you can you can make your mistakes and understand why you're making those mistakes and understand how to remedy those mistakes, understand what you need to do next time, you understand? Understand how to carry yourself, understand how to see yourself, understand the importance of confidence, the importance of honesty, the importance of being exactly who you are so you can attract what what is out there for you you understand what i'm saying there's certain things that are just it's not entertainment man it's not entertainment it can be entertaining but it's not entertainment you got to understand that shit. and and i just feel like it's 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 enough dudes there's too many dudes out there just thinking that we're just on here trying to entertain y'all or we're just we're just talking shit just for the sake of talking shit. we are not doing that man we're not doing that understand that when we were coming up we were we were seeking knowledge you understand we were seeking knowledge like the first one of the first books i ever bought myself was the art of Mackin by tariq nasheed that's real talk because i was seeking knowledge i'm looking around and and i and i'm looking at myself and i'm looking at these bitches that i'm dealing with these broads these females and shit and i'm like yo i gotta be doing something wrong <laughs> you know what i'm saying i gotta be doing something wrong so i i, I sought i sought knowledge i went out and i sought knowledge and Art of Mackin was the first book that I picked up about this shit. You see what I'm saying? And now we're at a stage where we're making documentaries about this shit. You understand? And I and again, I just I just need you guys to understand that it can be entertaining to listen to us, but it's not entertainment, bro. 
A lot of what these other cats are doing might be entertainment. You know, they telling you they a lot of these other cats, they, you know, they they <laughs> I don't even want to say nothing too too specific because I know all all y'all most of y'all niggas gonna do is fucking just listen to that shit and then just try to be like, oh yeah, you talking about this one that I don't I don't really give a fuck about none of them other niggas. All I know is that these ones right here and the ones that you see us collaborate with, that Lucario and I collaborate with, do, these guys have true game. They understand true game and they talking real shit. And not just for the sake of for for the sake of getting money and entertainment. We're talking real shit because this is shit that needs to be this is shit that needs to be heard by young men. This is shit, yo, this is shit that needs to be heard by any man. Because you got a lot of 40, 50 year old men still simping out here. You understand? We know what that is. There's a lot of niggas out here still simping and still need to hear the game. They still need to hear the truth. They still need to hear that they're not supposed to be giving bitches excuses. They, if a bitch flake on them, they're supposed to move, to move on to the next bitch. If, you know, you're not supposed to beg a bitch for nothing. You're supposed to carry yourself a certain way. You're supposed to have all of your shit together. You understand? You're supposed to have your finances in order. You're supposed to have your health in order, your fitness in order. You're supposed to be empowering yourself, bringing value to yourself. Because a valuable man brings value to the world. But if you don't see yourself as value, if you don't, if you don't see yourself as valuable, if you don't treat yourself as valuable, how can you bring value to the world, much less a fucking woman? You understand what I'm saying? You guys, you guys want pussy so bad. Like, there's a lot of guys out here that want pussy so bad. But you don't even understand that you want pussy. But what you're actually doing is you're giving that woman value. You're giving that woman dick. You're giving that woman the possibility of a seed. You're giving that woman status. You know, you know how a bitch feel when she's lonely, when she's single and ain't got nobody? She feel much different than a bitch walking into any spot with a dude next to her. You understand? Whether, even whether or not the dude is her friend or whatever, she is elevated simply because she's there with a dude. You understand? She's elevated. Now, a man, on the other hand, a man is not necessarily elevated. A man is... His situation is enhanced because the female on his arm when he walks in is decorative. She's a compliment to him. Do you understand? Because his value is intrinsic. The value of a man is already, everybody knows the value of a man. Do you understand? We're the ones that impregnate. We're the ones that provide logic. We're the ones that provide what they need, leadership. We're the ones that provide everything, the resources. Do you understand? The fucking the guidance, the game, we provide all that shit. So when we walk in with a bitch, our, our situation is only compliment, complimented, not elevated. Her situation is elevated. Because a female's, a female's value, whether she wants to admit it or not, her, a female's value is connected to the, to, the, to the level of man that she can attract and the level of man that she can keep. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's just how it is. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear no other societal explanation about nothing. And the shit that I'm telling you right now is just truth. It's just fucking truth, bro. It's truth. It's not entertainment. It's truth. You get what I'm saying? So I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Like there's a difference between something that sounds entertaining and something that is entertainment. This is not entertainment. Ain't nobody saying this shit for you to be entertained. Niggas saying, it, saying this shit so you can realize truth so you can realize yourself realize yourself and what you mean to this world and what you mean to that bitch what you mean to that female what you mean to that woman you understand because you're actually the one that takes her from a bitch to a fucking female that's what you do but you have to have the state of mind to do that and i'm trying to bring you around to the realization of that state of mind you get what i'm saying that's what i'm trying to do you get it so it's like don't None of this, none of this shit is for play, bro. None of this shit is for play. This shit is to enhance your life. This shit is to fucking break, open up, open up the truth. Take the wool off your eyes. Take the shades off so you can see what the fuck is in front of you. You get what I'm saying? See what's actually in front of you. So you can see when a bitch is fucking, you know, dangling pussy in front of you and you're being hypnotized by the pussy and you're just doing whatever for the pussy. You don't even realize what the fuck is going on. You understand? So you could realize when, you know, when, when, you're, when you're doing a little bit too much. So you can realize when it's time to move on. So you can realize when there's no reason to feel hurt over rejection. So you can realize a lot of different things that you're, that you're misled about. 
You, know, you understand? So you can realize how powerful you are. So you can realize the truth behind your identity, behind your character, and why it's important. You understand? All this shit is some real shit that we're trying to tell y'all. It, no, it ain't no bullshit, and it's not entertainment. A lot of these other content creators might be there just for entertainment, man. These motherfuckers is, is comedians and fucking, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas who... They they fucking caught up. They friends told them that they that they funny. Oh, you a funny nigga, man. You should go on YouTube and talk some shit. And then that's what they do. And then they and they listen to guys like us. And then they fucking they flip it, add some bullshit to it, and entertain y'all motherfuckers. Meanwhile, they telling y'all bullshit. They telling y'all the wrong thing. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not here to entertain you. And if you come at me wrong on some bullshit, I might have to yell at you. I might have to fucking get at you on some tough love shit. Because you're my brother and I give a fuck about how you see shit. And I don't want you to go down the road with a lie. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't want you to continue on with a lie in your mentality. I don't want that. I want you to understand the fucking truth. And if I have to yell at you and if I have to fucking say some shit for you to fucking see what I'm talking about, then I'm going to say that shit. You see what I'm saying? But I just want, again, man, I just want niggas to know, I want you fellas to know what we do can be entertaining but it is not entertainment you understand what i'm saying so check the links get your t-shirts you know what i'm saying get on the bad boy membership um so you can check out the game kings documentary right now today um appreciate everybody that's already doing that or you can wait till black friday november 27 2020 you know what i'm saying but um it's your boy miles cunningham man i'm here to spit the truth to y'all man i'm not here to entertain y'all you feel me so it's your boy Hope you're having a great day. Truth is inside you. Peace.